Hello. Okay. Next tutorial. Um, this look is meant to be like a pop arty, cartoony, um, comic book styly makeup design, basically. Um, that's mainly, I think it's the, off the painting uh, by, is it Roy Lichtenstein? Um, that's, this is the idea anyway. Um, the Crying Girl painting or comic book or, yeah. Um, so I know it's been done a lot on YouTube, but I've wanted to do it and I've wanted to do it for a while. I've been putting it off and putting it off and I thought, well, you know what? I think I'm just going to do it. Why not? <laughs> Put my spin on it. So if you want to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So I've already blocked my eyebrows out. Um, here's a link to one of my previous tutorials teaching you guys how to do that, just so I can make this video a lot shorter. So the foundation that I'm going to go for is going to be white, but it's going to have a tiny bit, of, a tiny hint of flesh tone in it. So I'm going to use my regular white mixture, which is uh, two parts or three parts clown Snazaru clown white, which is like a white cream, and one part uh, Mac Studio Fix Fluid in NW15 or NC15 rather. Um, any liquid foundation should work really it's just basically gives it a better consistency and it goes on a lot smoother and this will give me a hint of the flesh tone that i want so i'm literally going to apply that all over my face with a foundation brush and then i'm going to buff it in with a kabuki brush and i've like lately i've been doing that a lot because i do love my kabuki brush <laughs> so here we go then i'm going to take my kabuki brush which is a little more well, a big fluffy brush and so you can see all these horrible street marks. I will just literally buff into it like that, and then we'll go. And I've also done my ears as well, just to make them, so obviously I've, otherwise just the color would stand out too much from it. So, <laughs> so now I've done that, I'm going to press some Grimace Translucent White Powder all over this, pressing especially heavy on the eyebrows to really block them out. There we are, so I'm nice and pale. <laughs> so now I can start on the detailing, like the drawing on the eyebrows and the uh, eye eyeliner, etc. <laughs> so the thing I'm gonna do first is work out where I want my eyebrows to be, because then I can work around how high the eye, eye shadow needs to be, etc. So I'm not gonna make them ridiculously high. I mean, I might make the base, the top of my eyebrow, the start of the, eye, of the new eyebrow, to be honest, because I don't want it to be too cartoony. But I think if I make, yeah, about here, and then just draw, trace it on really lightly. Oh, sorry, I probably should have mentioned I'm using um, my Collection 2000 felt eyeliner pens for this in black, just, yeah, so you know, because <laughs> uh, I have a lot of, I use these a lot now, because it's just it's so much easier to control, and yeah. <laughs> okay, so there we are, and so as long as you've got that flick in the middle, so it's like a sad brow, that's what we're going for. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner pen again and I'm going to start drawing on the extra details um, like around the nose and the jawline and the hairline. I'm kind of just going a bit crazy here with these lines. <laughs> and I'm going to do the eye, I think it's just the eye socket. Sorry, I just keep skipping ahead there. I've I'm just going to show you again on this side, but I kind of got carried away. Um, <laughs> I've drawn a line under here, just following the shape of the eyebrow, and I've just coloured in my eyelid, and I've just flicked it out just to look like eyelashes. Um, I've also just drawn an, a line underneath my eye. That's actually going to turn into a tear, I think, so it's going to be... I'm going to draw a line underneath this eye. And then do the same again that I've done on this side here. And I'm going to draw just a line where my cheekbone should be, but this is going to be quite tricky, so <laughs> I might do it wrong. <laughs> and trace my jawline. And my lips, this should be fun. <laughs> okay, so this full bottom lip and just a really light Cupid's bow on top. I'm so sorry if this is 
too rushed for some of you guys out there because I'm just trying to make this video as short as possible and that's my phone um, <laughs> so I'm sorry I hope this I hope you guys are getting what I'm doing basically so um, now I'm going to take a grimace red eyeliner pencil and I'm going to start drawing on the dots now you want to be careful not to do too many uh, we want to make them fairly even apart I mean they've got to be the same distance apart all over the face um, yeah you'll see what I mean as we go along but it's going to take some time <laughs> Actually, before I carry on, I'm just going to draw my hairline on as well, I think. Possibly. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so I've not drawn it on completely. I've just done it in dashes just so I know where to stop with the colour. I mean, the wig's probably going to cover most of that, but I want little bits of it to be on show, just to show like a cartoony hairline. <laughs> so I'm going to carry on doing these dots. It's not doing too bad so far. It's taken me about 15 minutes to get that far, so it's not too bad. The worst thing you can do is rush this because you'll start getting inconsistency with the dots and you'll start getting some that are bigger th than others and some that are wonky and you don't want that. You want, I mean, you want to be able to follow one row of dots all the way down diagonally or horizontally, whichever direction you don't want in the pattern to skip a dot. That's the worst thing. So I'm going to stop there and I'm because oh, I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to do this, but I think I'm going to give it a go. I've never done it before, but I'm going to do some shade, uh, some like comic book shading. So this side of my face is going to be the lit side. And I'm going to have, I'm going off comic book reference pictures here. So it looks like you've got this whole shaded effect down the side of the face. So it'll look great in profile. Well, I'm going to say great. It'll look, the effect will work hopefully in profile. But when you look forward, it might look a bit silly. But I want that divide because I want to use some blue dots on this side. Because I just think that would look nice. So I'm going to colour this in blue here. I just think it'll look a nice contrast. So this could go horribly wrong. So we'll see. But I'm going to trace really lightly with this just in case I... So I've got that mapped out, so I'm going to colour all of this in black here, this area here in black, and this area here in black. That should hopefully give me, hang on, how do I do that? Yeah, hopefully should give me the effect of a shadow, or I might just ruin the whole thing, we'll see. <laughs> so I'm going to use my MAC Black Snazaroo Watercolour. Make sure to make it as thick as possible, so not runny, because the worst thing you can do at this point is to paint this and it runs down and ruins your foundation and we just, no, I, I really can't be having that right now. <laughs> so we just, I just really, really, really mix it up so all the moisture is absorbed and you've got a really nice, almost cream-like consistency. Okie dokie, here we go. <laughs> there we are. So, I mean, in, on... Um, in front, rather, it looks a bit bizarre, but on profile, it's, I don't know. I might tweak it a bit more, but you guys be the judge. So now I'm going to take some uh, a Barry M number 19 light blue pencil, and I'm going to do exactly the same with the red dots that I did on, yeah, the blue, you know what I mean, dots here. <laughs> okay, so it should start looking like this. <laughs> a bit crazy. Um... Right, so now I'm going to colour my bottom lip in bright red. So I'm going to use my MAC um, Amplified Heartless Bright Red uh, Lipstick from the Venomous Villain Collection. And I'm going to apply that all on my bottom lip. I'm then going to take some of the Snazaroo Clown White, all just on its own. And, whoop, let me just get this all lined up nicely. There we go. And I'm going to put that on, it'll be the light this side, so just there on my lip. I'm then going to take a really nice light blue Snazaru watercolour in sky blue and I'm going to apply that into the tear section, just colouring the entire thing. I'm then going to take the Snazaru Clown White again and just do a tiny glob of it in the biggest tear here. I've decided I'm not going to go over the red dots, but I am going to go over the blue dots with the Sazaru watercolour, just to speed things up. At least I know where I'm going to go with the circles, I'm just going to quickly go over it. I'm not going to record it because I'm just going to go over it with a really small brush. Actually, I'm going to point out, um, if you want to see a tutorial on how this is done really well, I've ju just doing this has just dawned on me, um, check out Anna Arthur 81 I'll put a link here to the video I'm thinking of. Um, if I remember correctly, she did... Uh, I think it's a Sin City type makeup, black black and white makeup, and she did the shadow on one side of the face. It was very, very, very well done. 
Um, so if you're struggling for the whole shadow idea, definitely check out that tutorial because she's amazing and that particular tutorial was stunning. But yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to take some MAC um, Fluid Line in Black Track. And I'm just going to... This is basically a cream that's good for your waterline of your eyes, but I'm going to use it just to darken up... Hang on, two seconds. Darken up my eyelids because the water colour, uh, the pen isn't too great for colouring in your eyelids. I'm now going to apply some uh, mascara in Maybelline New York Illegal Length uh, to both my eyes, eyes, obviously. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> and then I'm going to apply some false eyelashes. And I think that's the look done. The false eyelashes that I'm using are going to be the Only Way is Essex lashes um, in Glam. Uh, I did use them for my previous tutorial, well not the Glam ones, but the same brand because, I mean, I've recently discovered them and I bought the entire set and I'm determined to use them and see how good they are. The first set I used were actually quite good, so we'll see how good these ones are. The reason I'm using these ones in Glam is because they sweep off, they're only a medium set of lashes, but they sweep off to the side like these fake lashes that I've drawn either side here and I just think it'll go well with them. So I'm going to glue those on and get back to you. I'm not going to put any mascara on the bottom lashes because I need them to be fairly clear because otherwise it'll cover up these lines that I've drawn. Right, I was reluctant to do this bit because it's going to take me forever, um, but I'm going to do it anyway, so yes, I'm going to do my neck and my chest as well because I you can't just have it stop at the, the, the face, so... Right, I'm going to carry on the shading effect, so it's going to be all of my neck down to about here, so it's only going to be this shoulder really that's covered in dots at least, or this shoulder, yeah. So just before I put my wig on and my, well, sort of a costume, um, <laughs> I just think I'll just show you what I've got here. So I've just done the really big shaded neck area here. So when you look at it from profile, it goes along with the shading on this side of the face. And I've done the polka dots and um, a squiggle here and here just for the collarbone and the neck piece. Okay, so I've cheated a little bit because I'm going to cover this area here with a wig. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, that's it. So I just popped on my bright yellow wig, which is the wig that I use for my Lady Gaga telephone makeup tutorial. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like it, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe as usual. And yeah, so until next time, bye.